And I just, I was like, hee hee hee, look everybody, I got my unicorn. <laughs> hey kids, welcome back to, yes, it still exists, A Monkey in the Wild. It is Saturday, about 1123. I thought the wife was coming home for lunch at noon. Turns out she's not coming until one. So I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm gonna go take a quick trip to Pleasure House Point before it starts storming, which apparently it's going to do. Although it is sunny and uh, about 100 degrees. Yes. So, you know, dumb monkey shit. Wait until the hottest part of the day on a super hot day, then go out for pictures. Okay, so what's been going on as far as monkey in the wild? Not a damn thing. I haven't had time to go out and go take pictures, which is unfortunate because I hate that. I always say that, you know, my company does not own all the hours of my day. Apparently for the past month and a half, two months, <laughs> they have. So all I've been doing is working on the truck and doing day job work. That being said, I was at three ships one day because I was like, I have to get the hell out of my office for a little bit. So of course I go to three ships. I'm standing outside talking to my buddy on the phone and I look up and an Osprey flies right over me and it's got a fish in its talons. And I was like, holy shit, I had my camera with me. I don't know why. I had my A7R5 with the 70 to 200 on it. And I'm like, let me see if I can get anything. I took a picture of it. It was, it looked like it was two miles away. I mean, it was a shit picture, but you could still see that it was an Osprey and you could still see that it had a fish in its talons. Well, then all of a sudden I look over, I don't know, a couple minutes later, and there are like four or five Osprey flying around that area. And I'm like, okay, well, everybody keeps saying that there, there must be like nests over here in these trees. Basically, when you get out of the lot and you drive down the long driveway at the end there, there's a bunch of houses and they got really tall, like pine type trees that are perfect for Osprey. You know, the kind of tree that an Osprey's gonna sit in. So I'm like, all right, sweet. Let me see if I can, I'll just walk down to the end here with my camera and see if I see anything. Shit you not, three Osprey in different trees, all three of them with fish and they're eating lunch. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I get my camera out and I pop off a bunch of freaking pictures like these. I'm so excited that I got these pictures that like I start taking my camera with me every day when I go to three ships because I mean, who to thunk? Well then, are you ready for this kids? That next day I went out and I looked up and I saw an Osprey and I was like, sweet. It'd be kind of funny if I looked up and saw an Eagle, I turned over and I looked up in one of the other trees and there was a damn bald Eagle. Just perched on a freaking branch. I damn near dropped my camera. My unicorn, my friggin' unicorn, the eagle that I have missed by mere moments at every turn for the past several years, like basically since I've been doing this. And I look up and that freaking eagle is right there. And it's there and it's in a perfect position. And I got this. Now, this isn't the only picture I got. I took dozens of pictures of that son bitch because I was like so excited. And I was walking all around from different angles and trying this, that, and the other thing. I got so many pictures of the Osprey and that eagle, especially. And I just, I was like, hee hee hee, look everybody, I got my unicorn. You know, I ran back into three ships and I showed everybody and you know, I posted it on freaking, uh, well, I cross posted that some bitch everywhere. You know how I always say I don't cross post, but I posted it on fricking Viewbug. I posted it to my Instagram. I was showing fricking people, you know, on my Facebook, uh, walking up to people and showing them on my camera back. So yes, I am excited. The monkey finally got his fricking unicorn picture, a bald eagle. Okay, so let's hit up Pleasure House Point real quick. Okay, obligatory crossing the threshold. Ah. All right, so clearly. We're at Pleasure House Point. It's been a long time. I, I mean, a long time. I, I don't even remember the last time I was here. It's been at least two or three weeks, which for me is just unheard of. Why does that sound like a, yeah, yeah there's somebody on an ATV that's not supposed to have motorized vehicles back here. Oh, it's a cop. 
That's why. Interesting. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, that's concerning. Cop on an ATV. Two police vehicles out at the entrance. Uh, good thing I'm packing. Okay, despite the fact that it is oppressively hot and humid, uh, I've been gone for too long. Gotta knock that shit off. All this day job stuff. Ruling all of my hours is a no-no. Okay, so far, I got a great egret, a yellow-crested night heron, and they both flew over here. And then I had, uh, I think it might've been a great blue heron flying overhead. And I got some shots of that. Can't complain, huh? I totally missed this. This, this has instantly loosened my sphincter and, and just opened up my soul and my happiness. Ugh, I gotta stop doing that, or, or I just tell myself that I have work to do, and that there's too much work, and, and I, have to, I have to do all the work. Nothing but work. Bad. Bad for the monkey. Bad for everybody. Don't do it. Don't sacrifice your happiness and your health. Okay, off my soapbox. Let's see what's up here. Okay, so I heard two birds sort of battling it out. Thought they flew off, but then I got this little guy right here. And he came out of the frickin' grass and scared the ever-loving shit out of me. And he flew over in here into the other side of the grass and I lost him, but he just came back out. So let's see if we can't spook him up. I have no idea what he is. He sure doesn't give a shit about me, though. He just wants lunch. This is gonna be a jump scare. Cause I don't know where he went. Oh, he fucking circled back. You fucking sneaky bastard. Okay, he's a clapper rail. I've never seen one. Ooh, there's a bunch of little baby birds. Okay, they're little black babies and they're too fast and too tiny, and they're in the grass, so the camera keeps wanting to focus on the grass. Over there, you remember where that used to be, with the uh, cinder blocks that you used to have to walk through if the water wasn't too deep. Last time I was here, there was just a chain link fence up. There was no bridge. The entire bridge is already built. So they did that shit fast. Okay. Red winged blackbird just flew up just as I hit record. Anyways, I am shocked at how much is out here and thrilled. Definitely that, that clapper rail thingy that scared the shit out of me. Very cool. I always love coming across something I've never seen before. And that's kind of the point here, going out and exploring and hopefully seeing new things instead of the same old, same old all the time. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna call it because, wow, I mean, walking around the corner, I didn't see anything as usual, and then all of a sudden, there were just birds everywhere. And on top of it all, I got to take pictures of a bird that I'd never seen before and saw birds that I've never seen before, although I don't know what they are. I'll probably have to look up that clapper rail and see what the babies look like. And then, you know, if, if the picture matches, you know, a little black almost duckling-like things, then we'll know that that's what it was. Oh man, there's also a ton of lizards out here, and I've tried to get pictures of them, but they're so fast. There's one right there. I'll never get him, though. He was just chasing a buddy of his. Hey, dude. So, I think that, like I said, I'm gonna call it now. I'm, I'm freaking just drenched. I'm melting. Oh, so many birds. I love it here. God, I love it here. I, like, I, I feel like the Grinch, my heart just grew just being out here for this short amount of time. Oh, I needed that. Sorry I've been gone so long. Sorry to myself for working too much. Gonna try to stop that shit. And I wanna get back to at least posting once a week. All right, that's it. That's all we're gonna do today. I appreciate you watching, hanging out with me, and enjoying the majesty of this wonderful place. Get off your ass, get out there, if you're not gonna take pictures or film anything, just get out there and walk around and enjoy 
all this majestic land while you can. All right? So that's it for this week. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.